Good morning, miners. I'm Jack. And I'm Catherine. Today is Monday, February 10th, 2020. Today's schedule is periods 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, with period 5 determining your lunch. Please stand for the pledge. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Tennis club this Thursday after school. No need to sign up. All are welcome. Alice in Wonderland Jr. Set Designers. It is time to start designing our set and props. Please come out to a meeting this Tuesday after school in Tanner Hall if you are interested in helping us design and paint our sets and props. There is a lot of creative work to be done, and we hope to see you there. Please see Ms. Schultz in room 13 if you have any questions. Attention minors, please do not use the PE lockers as your personal storage. Keep your money, sweaters, phones, and all belongings in your backpack. Thank you. Do you need volunteer hours for National Honor Society? If so, the Santa Clarita Public Libraries could use use your help. The Valencia Library, Canyon Country Library, and Newhall Library are having spring cleanup events in March. See Mrs. Ludlow or your English teacher for more information. Now over to Nico with some news. Hey, miners. This week is going to be a little bit more cloudy <laughs> until the weekend hits, most days being mostly sunny. Highs will be around the 70s and lows around the 40s. This week's news story is about four new species of walking sharks that a team of researchers have found. The researchers believe their ability to use fins to walk across the water affords the sharks a substantial advantage over the unsuspecting smaller animals they prey on. When the tide pulls back, these sharks become active and can easily maneuver the low water areas. That's all for Nico's News. Now over to Mr. Turner. Hey, good morning, miners. Welcome back from the weekend. I hope you had a great weekend. And speaking of weekend, this week and next week are short weeks. This week is a four-day week. Next week is a four-day week. We have the President's Day holiday over the weekend, and we hope that you have a great weekend this next weekend coming up because it's an extended one don't forget that so if you show up for school on friday we won't be here well anyway the most important thing that i would like for you to think about today is when we think about minor pride we think about a lot of different things that go with that we think about participating responsibility integrity determination and empathy and we talk about those quite a bit well this month happens to be black history month And one of my favorite inventors and scientists of all time was George Washington Carver. And he spent a lot of time creating, designing, um, and really, I would call, really, imagineering a lot of things that if he hadn't done, we would never have today. Um, One of his biggest research areas was researching what all he could do, believe it or not, with peanuts. Uh, Actually, he developed more than 300 commercial uh, food, industrial, uh, and commercial products from peanuts, including peanut milk. Can you believe that? He was ahead of his time. You know, we have almond milk, oat milk, and all different types of milk today. He was developing peanut milk many, many years ago. He did all that in the uh, process of not really having a big lab area to do that with. Whenever he was a professor at Tuskegee Institute in Alabama, They didn't really have a lot of equipment, and he went out and searched for a lot of the tools that they used in the lab. He also developed Worcestershire sauce. I hope I said that right. Sometimes that word's a little hard to say. A variety of different punches, drinks, cooking oils, salad oil, different types of paper, cosmetics, soaps, and wood stains. In spite of what you might hear, he did not invent peanut butter, even though some people may say that. One of his most famous quotes that is one of my favorite is this. How far you go in life depends on your being tender with the young, compassionate with the aged, sympathetic with the striving, and tolerant of the weak and strong, because someday in your life you will have been all of these. I think that's good for us to think about this week and think about how we uh, implement those areas into our own lives. Okay? Back to Jack and Catherine. Thanks, Mr. Turner. 
Every day at Plus Read is a holiday, and today is Umbrella Day. That's all from us, live from our Kid Flick Studio. I'm Catherine. And I'm Jack. Stay classy, Plus Rita.